Hey y'all, what's up? It's Ashlyn here. It is Sunday and, well, I got a library haul for you that I completely forgot about. That's just been sitting over at my desk. So let's get into it. Um, if it's a little wobbly, it's because you're on my bed. I didn't feel like doing like a whole setup today. So I apologize. It is like seven in the morning on a Sunday. Go figure. So, I have one thing left on here to do, which is attend a library program or event, and then I can turn this in for the Summer Reading Challenge that finishes July 31st. So, there's that. I picked up some books, of course. I also got two new bookmarks because up in the... um teen section there are a lot of bookmarks and these ones are just fourth of july related but i just found a bunch of bookmarks so i'm kind of excited for it but you guys know the danielle page and cast morgan book the ravens has been on my list for a hot second i finally am picking it up i think i'm gonna do a try a chapter with you guys just to see if i'm actually even gonna like it so we might be doing a try a chapter with these books to make sure we're actually going to like them. This next one I'm so excited about. My girl, Hardback Quarter, Allie, the Hardback Quarter, actually said this was, it was alright, but it wasn't great. But this is Delicious Monsters by Lizelle Sambury. And I've had my eye on this for about a month now. Right? Yeah. Um, I went up into the one thing, um, Hardback Quarter said that it's alright, but it's not the best. The podcast element of it is not as fun as you would think it would be, so we're just gonna try it out for ourselves. And as you see, these two are chunky, like this book, this book is not as bad as this one. This one is extremely chunky, and this one is pretty chunky. All right, next I have um, a newer one called With My Little Eye by Jocelyn Jackson, um, author of Never Have I Ever, and a couple other ones. So there's this. I have no idea what this is about. I just know Jocelyn Jackson does pretty good books. Uh, this one's got deckled edges, and it's not too terrible, but it's not too great either. <laughs> Then we have, okay, so you guys are going to be like, why are you picking this up before you pick up A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson? I pick it up Killjoy by Holly Jackson. <sighs> Sorry. I'm picking up Killjoy by Holly Jackson to get ready for A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because this one is actually 0 0.5 in the series. And this is the novella. And then it goes... A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, then Good Girl, Bad Blood, As Good as Dead, and Five Survive. So, this is the actual order you guys are supposed to read it in. This one talks about six suspects, three hours, and one murder. I started reading a couple pages, but I was so dead tired the other day that I just could not. But this one deals with a murder mystery dinner, which we have one of those coming up at our library on the 11th which I am going to be attending, uh, because that's, why not? I went to the one last year, too, and it was fantastic, and you actually get to eat real food. So, um, yeah, there's a murder mystery dinner coming up on the 11th, so might as well just get ready for it, right? Right. And the last one I have is, um, book six in the Anonymous series, and this is Calling Maggie May. Um, as you guys know, I have been reading the Anonymous series, and these are set up in, like, journal entry form, which I love so, so much. <sighs> I don't know what this one's about either. It's just part of a series. So there is that. I do apologize this video is super short, but you guys kind of like my shorter videos. It's easier to get through and whatnot. So I hope you enjoy this, and I will see you in the next one. The next one is going to be My Boyfriend Picks My TBR for July. I'm actually pretty excited and pretty nervous about this at the same time. Bye, guys.